Hello everybody and happy Monday. It is time for Mindfulness Monday with me, Nina Soden, the redheaded author. And today I want to talk about bringing mindfulness into your work life. We can't all meditate at work. It's not always possible, but that's okay. You can still take advantage of the benefits of mindfulness while at work. These things are like stress reduction and increased focus, increased productivity. You wanna find out how? Here are five tips for bringing mindfulness into your work life. Okay, tip number one is to be consciously present. Being consciously present means that you are aware not only of what is going on around you, but you are also aware on what is going on within you. Mindfulness can help you be consciously present in what you're doing, in all aspects of what you're doing, while you're doing it, as well as maintaining your mental and emotional state. Tip number two is to use short mindfulness exercises throughout the day. Mindfulness meditation, such as a 15, 30 minute meditation, isn't always possible at work, and usually it's pretty much impossible. But that doesn't mean that you can't do short mindfulness exercises while at work. Mindfulness exercises can be as short as one minute. They don't have to be long, and you don't even have to close your eyes or sit in lotus in order to do them. Be creative and find little short periods of time throughout the day when you can squeeze in a mindfulness exercise. And all you're doing is connecting to your senses. This process helps to tone down the fight or flight mode that we can sometimes get when we're stressed and it helps us to engage our brain and it helps us to focus on individual tasks and increase productivity throughout the day. Tip number three is to be a single tasker. In today's world, everybody is trying to multitask. And the truth of the matter is that studies show multitasking does not actually pr improve your productivity. And in fact, most people cannot multitask successfully. It's known to increase stress and reduce productivity leaving us feeling more overwhelmed than necessary. Try focusing on just one task at a time and keep a to-do list. When something pops in your mind that you need to do it, write it down, take a quick second, write it down, and then go back to the task at hand. This will help you sit, stay on task and still get everything done throughout the day. Tip number four, use reminders to stay mindful throughout the day. Okay. Until mindfulness becomes a commonplace habit in your life, it's okay to set reminders. A little vibrating alarm on your phone or on your smartwatch. These can be great reminders to just take a second and breathe. I have the Breathe app on my smartwatch and every hour it stops me, it tells me to breathe for one minute and I go through that exercise and it calms me, it relaxes me, it reduces stress, and it reminds me to stay focused throughout the day. Setting reminders like this can be a huge benefit when you are trying to incorporate mindfulness into your daily life. And once it already is a habit, it's still a great reminder. Tip number five is to accept what you cannot change. That's not always easy and I get that, but acceptance lies at the heart of mindfulness. To be mindful means to accept your present moment, to accept your present situation. Once you're able to accept your situation, your current moment, you'll be able to move past it and try to deal with the situation. So once you can accept a situation and learn from whether it was the mistake or whatever happened in that situation, then you're able to move on from it. Acceptance leads to change, whereas a lack of acceptance can lead to avoidance and even aggravation and aggression. 
So try and learn from your mistakes. Try and learn from those aggravating situations. Accept them. They are what they are. They cannot be changed, but you can do better in the future or you can fix the situation, but you first have to accept it in order to find the, the solution. Okay, today's mindfulness exercise is a 30 minute single tasking exercise. This is something that you can do at work. What I want you to do is for the next 30 minutes, focus on just one task. Pick one task that you need to get done today. Only one, not multiples. And I want you to focus on that task. When you find your mind wandering, that's okay. Jot down whatever it wandered to, whatever that other thing is, that distraction, and then go back to your task. This is a simple task. 30 minutes of focus on one thing. I have a feeling when you're finished, you're gonna feel like you've done a lot more than what you typically do in a 30 minute period. Practicing single tasking as opposed to multitasking can help increase productivity, improve focus, and reduce stress. You just might find that this becomes your new norm. Okay, today's mindfulness journaling. I want you to ask yourself this, how did it feel completing the 30 minute single tasking? Did you complete the task that you selected? How many times did you find yourself wandering away and losing focus? Did you get distracted by other tasks? Okay, go ahead and complete the 30 minute task, the 30 minute single tasking exercise, and then do this journaling. And I want you to try to do this once a day for at least the next week to two weeks and see how it improves. See how much better you get from the first day to the last day. And then comment below and let me know if this is gonna be your new order of business. Okay, that's Mindfulness Monday for today with me, Nina Soden, the redheaded author. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, click on that bell below so that you never miss an episode. Until next time, stay mindful.